Hey guys, how's it going? I am I Cabagon. Welcome back to some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we did a lot of really stupid stuff. And we got the Megaton Hammer. And we are going to make our way towards a place where we can use the Megaton Hammer in this episode. So what we have here, we have this thing. This little, like, pillar thing. Or platform, I guess is what it is. That will not fall, but sort of does, and then ba bam! Use the Megaton Hammer, we can drop it. And we can also use the Megaton Hammer to smack these bad boys out of the way. And revealing a door for us. And then revealing the door, all of the keys, which I'm just gonna spin attack because they're both gonna come at us, and we got them both. Not to Shebe. And again, smack. Megaton Hammer is semi-useful. It's not really useful to have in, like, battle. But we wanted to pick up one of these boxes. Actually, you know what? You know what? Hold on just a sec. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I, t I just took a glance at my uh, capture screen, and it was doing the lag thing again. So I was like, you know what? I better not risk it and just uh, take one or take a short recording at the start and then just make sure that we're good. And it looks like we're good now. What we want to do is take this box and place it on this switch because it's blue, meaning that if we get off of it, it will just pop right back up. So we open this door. There is what down there? Oh, there's the room we were in before. There's the maze room. So, oops, that's not the right button. Then we use this. And... Whoa! Link just had a bit of a siege right there. So now this switch... This switch looks rusted. So, we can step on it all we want, but it won't do anything. This is why we need the Megaton Hammer. The Megaton Hammer is the only thing that can actually smack it into oblivion. And we see here there's another block. Wait. Wait. Jesus, that's embarrassing that that took me that long to figure out, because I was like, I know the Song of Time by heart, why can I not figure it out? And it compresses, or it lands, right on top of that button, or clo close to the button. Oh no, it, it gets off of the button. So we can now... Wait, what? Oh, okay. So we go over here, smack this button with the Megaton Hammer. It's really cold in my house, I'm freezing. So cold. And then we will free the last, or one of the last Gorons. You ready to me? I'm free to go. I'll tell you a secret for saving me. A door is hidden inside the statue at the entrance to this temple. But the Goron's special crop won't work on it. Don't you have anything stronger? Well, 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 we do now. So, oh god, I thought I was like frozen there for a second. I would have been so angry. So we get yet another small key. But we also need to find a really easy way to get back to the entrance of this dungeon. So how do we do that? Well, since we have the Megaton Hammer, and we know that this right here is the pillar in the center of the room room at Darunia, let's give it a go. And we stuck the landing. There's the key, but we don't, the room, but we don't have the boss key yet. However, that Goron just so graciously told us that there is a secret door in the first room. So let's go try and find that. But first, I want to kill Fire Keys because I never get tired of killing these guys. They're just so annoying. Come on. You know what? Come here. Gotcha. I love killing them. They suck. All right. So here we go. We take the Megaton Hammer and smack away. We'll use our key and open up the door. You're just about done with this temple. Oh, hey. Gotcha, but then we can use the Megaton Hammer and flip all these guys on their side. 
Or on their back, I suppose. Wow. Helpful for when they come at you like a bat out of hell. Also, I just use the phrase bat out of hell. Die, torch slug. Gotcha. Where's the last fire key? Gotcha. And we have killed them all. Pick up a dollar for our troubles. And through this door we go, where we get the tiles again. Can I identify what these things are called? Nope, Navi doesn't have anything to say, apparently. Best strategy is to just hide in the doorway. I know that that works best in, like, the 2D Zeldas, because if, they're, if you're in a doorway, they can't get you. Um, oh, shoot. I don't have any arrows, so this could be interesting. I'm gonna have to be really careful about fighting this guy. Crap. Crap. He stole my tunic and my shield. Luckily, I think we get both those back. As you can see how weird Link looks without his shield. Holy crap. 60 bucks. Our Goron tunic. And our hero's shield. The Hylian shield. Hero shield is a Majora's mask. So let's let's go ahead and put those things back on. I don't know if I actually said it, but that's a like like. Um as was I as I named my uh what's it called? In Pokemon Emerald. My Swalot. You can see why I was I thought it was an appropriate name now. Oh crap. Oh crap. Forgot we have another one of these guys, a fire dancer again. Actually, let's see. Let's see if we can if we can beat this thing with the Megaton Hammer. We still need to use Bams to get it down eventually. But I completely forgot we had to deal with this guy. Come here, you jerk! I have to suspect that this does more damage than the Hylians than the Master Sword. Come here! Come here, you tool. It slowed it down, if anything, so maybe that's a, a benefit. Come here. It was stunned for a bit. So it couldn't really do anything. Come here, you jerk! I'm gonna get ya! Hooah! I think you can only hit it four times in each cycle. Alright, come on, die. These guys also release little blue fires, which I don't know how to get rid of. I think just by spinning. On account of I just spun and then it took care of it. Oh, get away! Oh, I dropped some arrows, cool! I'm pretty sure that's gonna drop 10 arrows. And I think we get some bombs in that chest. So let's see here, get, maybe that was 10 arrows. A bundle is usually 10, sometimes 20, maybe. I am so cold. There's a blanket right underneath me, but I can't because I had a leather couch and I need it to absorb the, the sound that my, of my voice, my booming voice. We have another rusty switch here, so we just smack it with the Megaton Hammer. And we get the big blue chest. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? Oh, I see. Big Brother Darunia asked you to rescue me. I owe you big time. Please help Big Brother. So, since he has no more hints, we can determine that that is the last Goron. They are all rescued. I don't know what happens if you don't save all of the Gorons. So I think there's some that you don't have to save, or mm, maybe there's, I don't think there are any that you don't have to save, actually, we're going the wrong way. But we got the boss key there, so we have a date with a giant fiery dragon. And this fiery dragon is just a boss in the video games, but in the manga, Valvagia has a really sad story. Like, apparently, from what I remember, Valvagia and Link were like really good friends when Link was a child. And then Ganondorf took over, and then like the last thing Vivalgius like does is remember his friend and cries before he dies. It's really, really sad. 
So we move, make our way over here. And we get our little intro cutscene for the boss. And then that is going to wrap up the fire temple once we beat this thing. Oh no, the pillars of escape. So we can't, can't weasel our way out of this one now. Ah, subterranean lava dragon, Volvagia. That's a cool name. Oh god, fire. So now get the Megaton hammer out. And we want to smack it with the hammer. It'll go down. And then just wail on it because that is the best way to fight it. Now, as I was doing some research in between episodes, it's you kind of need the uh, Goron tunic to get to the Fire Temple, but most of the rooms you don't need to wear the Fire Temple, or you don't need to wear the Goron tunic to be safe. This is one of them because there is a gigantic pit of lava and it is everywhere. Those are the only rooms that need that you have to have the Goron tunic in. If we took this off, we would get a very short timer. Oh, where's it gonna go? Right there, come here. Gotcha. Bam! That probably feels awful, by the way. Legs are so cold. So now it's going to take off and fly, and uh, this time it sucks, since it's not gonna chase us and breathe fire, it's just gonna go into the roof or the ceiling and drop giant rocks. So we just, we don't really have to move, we just have to watch the shadows. Like that one right there. They're getting much too close to us for my comfort. Ow, I didn't even see that. Please don't be there. Yes, over there, please. Bam. So we don't have to worry too much about losing hearts because, again, I have three rupees. And this, or three rupees, three fairies. Um, which I will probably do in the next dungeon as well. So we pretty much just have to, this boss isn't too, too difficult. It's just a matter of um, waiting it out, the waiting out and running away. Other than that, it's not too, too difficult. It's those rocks that are the biggest problem. Where are you gonna go? Right there. Gotcha again, and then bam. And Navi's like, Vivalgia, it's the boss of the Fire Temple, revived by the Evil King. I don't know what's weak point. Thanks, or nothing. Basically just wail. Wail on it, and you'll be in Winner's Town. Also, if it wasn't obvious, you don't want to fall off. I don't know what happens, let's just not find out. I hate this gigantic falling rock cycle. Especially since he doesn't even stick around for most of them. Oh god, the I forgot the rocks can bounce. And then the debris will hit you. Oh, I died when it... I, I guess I got hit by a rock or something. So that's what dying looks like. But we have a fairy. If you don't have a fairy, you will just stay dead. Maybe I can deliver the final blow right here? Oh, close. I wasn't even paying attention. I don't know if uh, I got caught in Volvagia's like a attack uh, polygons or if a rock hit me or something, but I died and I used a fairy. I don't know if I've actually died or run out of hearts in this Let's Play. I am inclined to think I have not. Because I can't remember it ever happening. I've gotten low, but uh, not to zero. I think this is going to be our final hit of the fight. BT dubs. And this one. Bam! Got it. And that is the Fire Temple. And in a, again, with the Fire Dungeons with King Dodongo earlier, Valvagia's death animation is quite gruesome, especially because it stay, its head stays alive for a little bit after this. Still alive. 
However, it disappears and turns into a heart container. You got a heart container. You're... And now we see we have started on our second row of hearts. That's always nice. And we are but one heart piece away from getting farther into that second row. So let us be awesome and head back. I believe this is going to take us to the, the chamber of the sages and we will find the fire sage. I have a pretty good idea of who it is. Oh, first we get to see Kakariko Village. Boom! Buddy on the roof. I think we talked to that guy. The evil leaves the cloud over Death Mountain. And now Kakariko, the sky is over Kakariko. Return to normal. And welcome back to the Chamber of the Sages. And we see, surprise! It is Darunia. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did. I thank you on behalf of the entire Goron race. You turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. By the way, I, the wild Darunia, turned out to be the great sage of fire. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, this must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Hey, brother, take this. This is a medallion that contains the power of the fire spirits and my friendship. Cool that when they get here, they, they really are awakened as a sage. It's not just like, oh, you're a sage. They know what the sage duties are. You got the fire medallion. Daruni awakens as a sage and adds his power to yours. Don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. Yay. So that pretty much takes care of the Death Mountain chapter of the game. However, there is one more thing we have to do that we couldn't do until we got the Megaton Hammer. So what we want to do is use the hook shot Go back over this way. And you see those rocks? Normally, oh god, no. <laughs> cool. Cool. Let's try that once more. <laughs> I'm not even gonna cut that out or anything just because that, it's not too far of a distance. So, those rocks right over there that are gigantic and huge, Normally, these would be destroyed by bombs, except these ones you have to destroy with a Megaton Hammer. So these ones are blocking a path. So let's go see what this path leads to. And it is a Great Fairies Fountain! The first uh, adult Great Fairies Fountain, so we know how to summon the Great Fairy. Just play Zelda's Lullaby. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and she's like, blah, 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 blah. Oh, terrifying. However, incredibly useful. <laughs> Welcome, Link. I am the great fairy of wisdom. I'm going to enhance your magic power. Receive it now. Oh, and we apparently had taken damage, so we got a heart back. Your magic meter is enhanced. Your magic power has been enhanced. Now you have twice as much magic power. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. Terrifying, as always. However, totally worth it because we now have a full magic bar. Oh, it's so beautiful. I want to touch it and hold it. Oh, I re it's so nice having more magic because oh, having a little bit of magic was gr good, but this is great. This is awesome. Having this much magic. Okay. Oh, that heart, that heart piece is just taunting me. We'll come back to get that later on. So, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. 
in the next episode, we're going to be heading to the ne to the next stage and knocking off I it's a mini dungeon or a full dungeon, just a small one. I don't know. Uh, hopefully getting there. Um, with that, guys, I've been iCabagon. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment, as well as subscribe for more videos like this one if you've not done so already. I completely don't know if I've already said that. Um, but until next time, guys, I am signing off.